So 14.75 minus 8 is 6.75. Okay, so delta y is the difference between the y's on the tangent line. Sorry, sorry, dy is the difference in y's on the tangent line, and delta y is the difference in y's on the, the function. Okay, so delta y is green, and dy is green. So here, they didn't give us any specific points. They, they've given us functions. I, I think first I'm going to do b, okay? So they gave us y equals u cosine u. So when they're asking for the differential, they are asking for the derivative, but, okay, so for this, re, for this particular example, like, focus on the der derivative, we're going to not use the y prime notation, instead we're going to use this notation, and I'll show you why. Okay, but I guess my variable is u, is, is u and not x. I'll change it to u. <laughs> Okay, so to do this derivative, what's the first thing I need to notice? Why did I put that dot there? It's multiplication. Multiplication, so we're going, going to use the product, product, rule. product rule. So first times cosine's derivative is negative sine. negative sine plus cosine left alone times the derivative one. of u will just be 1. Okay, so then technically the differential is equal to the following. Okay, you, you take the derivative, but then write it as a rate of change. Okay, write the derivative as its rate of change notation, and then multiply both sides by that denominator. Okay, so again, I had that the picture up here. I'm going to work the one we, we did. If, if we want to, we can graph it later, but okay, again, delta x for the example I have up here is 18 and dx is also 18. Because that point was 8. 16, 16, yeah. Okay, but doing our example, which is not this graph, but doing our example, let's just pick a couple of points. They did not give us points, I'm just picking points. So let's um, pick u to be, do I make the cosine nice or do you nice? I'll, I'll make the cosine nice. <laughs> so I'll pick pi over 3. Okay, so y at pi over 3, so my original function at pi over 3 is equal to pi over 3 times cosine of pi over 3, and cosine at pi over 3 is equal to... Pi over 3 is 60. It's 60, yep. so at 60 degrees, x is smaller than y. So my x coordinate is the smaller of the pair that goes along with 30 years. Is that and one half? That's one half, okay? And then remember that this number squared plus that number squared has to equal 1. So a half and square root of 3 over 2 go together at 60 degrees. The x is smaller, it's the 1 half. So cosine of pi over 3 is a half. So pi over 6 is my value. So pi over 6. All right, so, okay, if I move sideways a little bit, so why don't I scoot over by <coughs> pi over, pi over, Yeah, I'll just 
Pi over 12. Okay, we're, we're, we're going to imagine scooting over in the x direction by pi over 12. So that's going to be um, 4 pi over 12 plus 1 pi over 12 is 5 pi over 12 is my new x, my new u value, my, my new input. Okay, so I'm plugging in 5 pi over 12, and I get 5 pi over 12 times cosine of 5 pi over 12. That's not one of my nice angles, and we could use some trig identities, and <laughs> so why don't we just plug it in there. Okay, so cosine of 5 pi over 12 is 0.2588. I know I needed this, but we could pick on this one. And then we want to multiply that by 5 pi over 12. .33879. And this, by the way, is approximately... Point three, five, point five two three six. We'll say that. And the other one, let's see, if we round to the same place, we would have eight eight. eight, eight. eight. Yeah. All right. So delta y is point three three eight eight minus the point five two three six, which. It's approximately because I rounded those values, okay? So 0.3388 minus 0.5236. Okay, so negative 0.1848. All right, that's delta y. That's the actual difference in the y values. Now, if I, if I found dy, the differential, I would take minus and you are going to plug in your original x value. Okay, so I'm going to plug in the pi over 3. Okay, so I'm plugging in pi over 3 into my differential. Sine of pi over 3 plus cosine of pi over 3. And then how much did I increment the x by? Pi over 12. Pi over 12, okay. All right, this is dx. Well, it's du in this case. So I'll just, since we're kind of in here, it does go that way. Okay, so I have minus pi over 3 times sine of pi over 3 plus cosine of pi. Yeah, so 106.5. Okay, so I'm approximating that with this. Now, ours differ by quite a bit here because th this is really not that small of an increment. It's actually like 15 degrees, so I mean, it's, it's a fairly big increment. But I'm trying to give you the structure of what the dy means, and it's called the differential. Okay, again, it seems like it's easier to just plug your number into y if you really wanted to find delta y. Again, our example, I would not disagree with that. 
Um, there are times, though, when your function is much more involved and the linearization is much more clean and it's easier to just plug things into the linearization and so forth. Okay, so just technically the differential is the derivative, but you use the rate of change notation and then you multiply both sides by the denominator and that's, that's called your differential. Um, if we had found our tangent line, which we did not, okay, we did not find our tangent line for this particular problem, I don't know if... Well, maybe we, maybe we should go ahead and find our tangent line. I'll, uh, it's going to be messy, but I'll, I'm going to round the decimals to the ten thousandths place. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the tangent line and find the difference between the tangent line values, and you'll see that you're getting the same thing. Okay, that's, that's what we're going to do. So, um, y prime, I'm purposely writing it as y prime because right now I just want to think about the derivative at pi over 3 and then we want um, to find our tangent line so that y at pi over 3, we already found that, right? Did, or did we not? Yeah, we found y at pi over 3 is 5, over 6. Wait, 5, 2, 3, 6. Right. Okay, so y prime at pi over 3, now notice I'm not putting the du in this calculation. That's why I wrote it as y prime. So I'm just going to take pi over 3 times negative sine of pi over 3 plus cosine of pi over 3. And I, I think I have that up here. Yeah. The negative 0.4068. Or, although six, I, this will be 6, six 9. Yeah, six, oh, sorry, yeah, 6.9. Yeah, 6.9. Okay. All right, so that's my slope of my line. And so y equals negative 0.4069x, but x is u for this particular problem. And y should be equal to this number, both on the original function as well as on the tangent line. I want to solve for b. Three, six. Plus point four two six nine. Uh, four nine seven. Oh, thank you. All right, so our line is negative point four oh six nine u plus point nine four nine seven. Okay, so this is my tangent line. dy, the official definition of, of dy means that it's the value of that line at your original value minus line evaluated at your new value, which was 5 pi over 12 was the new value, okay? Pi over 12 was by how much I incremented. 5 pi over 12 was the new value. Okay, well the point nine four nine sevens are going to cancel. And I just need to calculate. Negative. Point four zero six nine times pi over three by. And will it will it end up being plus because it's minus? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. 
0.4069 times 5 pi over 12. Oh. oh, you know what? I did I did I did do it backwards. It's it's later minus earlier. Oh, it's it's okay. like I yeah, you guys I'm sorry, I, I did flip flop these. It should be new new versus old. It should be new versus old. Okay. I mean which is what we did to find um, delta y, we did new versus old. Okay, so I mean this is new minus old. And it, again, it, it, here it should also be new minus old. But my, my point is, if you actually find the tangent line and then plug in your, old, your new value, plug in your old value, find their difference, it's equivalent to finding the derivative and then multiplying both sides by the change in x. The change in x is literally how much did you move from one x to another. Okay, so here you can see that we got the same thing. All right, so in terms of this section, what you want to worry about is knowing, understanding the difference between delta y and dy. Okay, realizing that there is a difference between the two. Delta y is the difference between the function values. dy is the difference between the y values of the tangent line. And then delta x and dx stay the same for both focuses. And then another way for you to find dy is to take your derivative and use your rate of change notation and then multiply both sides by the, the dx, in this case it was du. And that will give you an approximation of delta y. Okay, or if you have your tangent line, it, it literally is tangent line at new value minus tangent line at old value. Alright, maybe it's a good idea for us to do 